Hello, Wisecrack Nation. It's your boy Navi here, and I'm going to put a shock to your system. After a long way to hiatus, we now have the return of Black Lightning Reviews. As of right now, we're on the Book of Rebellion, Chapter 2, Gift of the Magi. Let's see what we're going to get into after a long-awaited time frame. Well, it seems that Jennifer and Khalil are still the, on the run together, and what makes things more worse is after being cut by the female assassin, Khalil is experiencing some sort of infection from the cut. Why not just take your dumb butt back to town, get help from Black Lightning, and all this will be worked out. I swear, Jennifer and Khalil are taking this Romeo and Juliet thing too seriously. And thank goodness for Gamby being Gamby, because while at Khalil's aunt house, he figures out that someone's been cut and is more than likely Khalil. So, Gamby proposes a plan to check all the hospitals in the area and decide that they should split up and search them in order to find them quicker. Well, it seems that Lynn is going to play detective now as she goes to visit Khalil's mother and to come to find out that not only did Khalil have an older brother who was part of the 100 gang, but died by gunshot because he was a drug dealer as well. Well, now it seems that Jennifer is going to extremes as she breaks into a hospital medical room and steals medicine syringes in order to treat Khalil but as she leaves she sees her father and her sister now the smart thing to do is tell them hey I'm right here I need your help in order to rescue my boyfriend but no she's still the dumb black person that she is no offense to any black people and decides to run away and now what makes things even worse is that the assassin that attacked her and Khalil before is right on her tail as she walks out of the hospital, meaning she's going to follow her. Way to go, Jennifer. Instead of rescuing yourself, you just made yourself an even bigger target. Thank goodness for Anissa's nosiness as she overhears a security guard talking about a power outage in the medical room where Jennifer used her powers to zap a computer to steal medicine from a hospital. So not only is Jennifer on the run and trying to save her sick boyfriend, but she also commits theft. Boy, I'm telling you right now, having children is one of the best ideas many adults need to think about right now at this moment. When it comes to having children, just say no. Well, it seems that Gamby's hacking skills have come into usefulness after he sees the CCTV footage of Jennifer shocking the mess out of a computer in order to steal the medicine. But they also see that Jennifer is being tailed by the assassin as well, which drives Jefferson up a wall and makes him want to do one of the most stupidest things there is out there, and that is try to go find Jennifer without his super suit. I mean, the man was willing to fly up in the air with his electricity and expose his secret to the world. And then Gamby stopped him and took him down. Go, Gamby, go, Gamby, go. Gamby put the moves on him. I can't believe it. Old white dude took down Black Lightning. Thank goodness for Gamby coming through in the sitch as he finds out some related information to Cutter that could help them fight her off. That she's an assassin, expert martial artist, and a low-level telekinetic. So more than likely, she has the possible hat trick for killing anybody in her way. I wonder how dangerous she gets during that time of the month. 
all men just stay out of her way. And one thing that I find more comforting, or not comforting, but discomforting than anything else, is that when Lynn goes to Gamby's bunker to find out any information she can in order to find Jin, she grabs a shotgun. Oh, Mama Bear is on the hunt, and she is not playing. Well, it seems that Jennifer is finally starting to master her little bit of mental abilities by going back and forth in her mind and talking to herself mentally and to come to find out that Cutter is watching her while she's outside the barn and Khalil is inside probably dying of a fever. It seems that Jennifer is a pretty good actor when it comes to tricking the bad guys as she runs away from Cutter seeing her electromagnetic infrared body in the forest who knew that jennifer would actually come up with a plan to circle around and let cutter falsify herself in thinking she had khalil cornered and then shocking the mess out of her i'm surprised it seems the young black women on the cw television shows are finally learning Something valuable and other than how to be stupid and young. Well, one thing I can't believe that I'm seeing right now is that Jennifer's playing good cop and bad cop with Cutter as she's trying to convince Cutter by shocking her and beating the crap out of her is to get her to tell her what she did to Khalil. But Cutter isn't budging. Hell, she's a mercenary. She's used to being tortured. Well, it's... Seems like good cop and bad cop paid off after Jen interrogates her by cutting into her with her own poisonous knives. Curtis decides to tell her where the antidote is. I guess her being a superhero doesn't work out for Jennifer. She could always be a police officer. Or maybe somebody's wife. He'd be scary at that role. Well, we see Anissa, Gamby, and Jefferson playing high-voltage detective and using the power lines to try to locate Jennifer. I swear, if things would go better if they had a little more shock to the system with Virgil, if you know what I mean. I mean, come on. In order to find a teenage meta, you need a teenage meta. But due to the good idea of Jefferson by deciding to up the wattage to see therm thermal energy more, they find another hot spot that they hadn't looked in. So they decide to rush over there and see if that's the place where Jennifer is. Well, I guess the antidote that Jennifer gave to Khalil is working properly now as he's up and about. They both decide to leave Cutter tied up in the barn and continue to go on the run. I swear, the Romeo and Juliet syndrome is especially strong in these two stupid teenagers. Now, the most messed up part is, even though Khalil is better, Jefferson and this and Gary just missed them leaving the barn. But the worst part is the worry that Lynn has to suffer thinking that her daughter is dead. Throughout this entire episode, Lynn has tried to be so strong and so smart, but it doesn't help that knowing what is and what isn't happening to her child. Khalil finally sees the logic in what's going what's happening in his life and decides to tell Jennifer to go home. But Jennifer being stupid and putting some sort of love first that she has for Khalil, she decides she doesn't want to go home. I mean, you know what? Never mind. Let me not say anything. Because Jennifer will learn her lesson in the end. Hopefully. And at the end of it all, another new player comes into the scene. A black assassin who was a meta that can teleport. 
Oh, that's one of the deadliest things that they'll have to look forward to. Man, I do not envy Khalil and Jennifer at this moment. Well, Wise Crack Nation, I've had enough teenage love, drama, and stupidity for all that I can handle during this episode. As for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and give you another review the next time Black Lightning comes back around. Until then, I want you to always remember to be wise, crack hard, and like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content. Peace.